While legend has it that the yellow sun was responsible for Clark Kent's remarkable strength, science offers a very different explanation, one that I can guarantee you will gravitate towards. So the only thing you need to understand in order to agree with me is the concept of the law of gravitation. This law was created by Sir Isaac Newton and very simply proposed that there is an attractive force present between any two objects in the universe. This force can be given by the formula capital F is equal to capital G multiplied by capital M multiplied by lowercase m divided by r squared where capital M and lowercase m are the masses of two bodies, r is the distance between them and capital G is a constant of gravitation. So it will never change. From this we can understand that as bodies get heavier, the force of gravitation between them increases and as the distance between the bodies increases, the force of gravitation gets weaker. So now that we understand what the law of gravitation is, we need to understand a little bit about gravitational field strength. To do this, we look at another formula, lowercase g is equal to capital F divided by lowercase m. This means that the strength of an object's gravitational field is the amount of force per single unit, think 1 kg, of mass of that object. Now, using a little math, we can see that the gravitational field strength of any object can be written as lowercase g is equal to capital G multiplied by capital M divided by r squared. This means that for any spherical planet, r is the radius of the planet. So g is the strength of the force of gravitation on its surface. So where does Superman come into this? You must be thinking, you're just talking about gravitation. This is a scam. Well, it's time for him to come in now. Not a bird, not a plane, Superman. So now that we know what lowercase g is, we can also understand that different planets have different masses and different radii. So they will have different field strengths. So how do humans react to Earth's field strength? Their muscles, bones and other organs are just strong enough to work against the downward force of gravity, specifically for Earth, something that has happened through the years of adaptation and evolution. For Kryptonians, their muscles would have adapted to give normal levels of strength to all people on their planet with respect to their gravity, much like Earth. Another thing that we know is that all Kryptonians that come to Earth develop super strength on the planet. Through this, we can make the assumption that Kryptonians have significantly stronger muscles than us and therefore they can work against our planet's gravity with enough strength to spare and can do unbelievable things like punching people out of existence. And there we have it. The yellow sun does not give Superman his strength. Isaac Newton does. You have been watching another episode of Super Science. This is the show where I show you how superheroes use physics and you absorb this information and become a physics master yourself. Don't forget to like, subscribe, read comics and watch movies. Super Science out!